Hi, so my name is David Young, and I'm going to be telling you about the video journal of Midsummer's Night's Dream. Excuse me. So for the play, how it was meaningful for me, it really hit home that we were finally able to study this play because in sixth grade when I was younger, my high school actually was putting on this play, and my older sister was a part of the play. So within that aspect, I was able to come in and observe and kind of work a little bit, but not be able to perform in the play with them. But I was able to be involved with the scenery and those kinds of things. And it really hit home that we were able to study this play because I've studied many different Shakespeare's plays throughout my English careers and everything. And this play really meant a lot to me. And I was always wanting to study this play, but I never had the opportunity. So this was very awesome to be able to study this play. Next, there are three prominent themes in the play to me. You've got love, dreams, and the magic potion. So first I'll talk about love. And with love in the beginning of the play, it's really about the forbidden love to me and how that Theus wanted his daughter to marry Demetrius, even though that Hermia, Hermia excuse me, wanted to marry Lysander. So this was a, like a direct relation for me in, like, in Shakespeare because Shakespeare was known for his forbidden love just like he used in Romeo and Juliet. Magic was another theme as well for me. Um, Magic played an important role with the use of Puck and her using the magic potion because it created such tension and such love. So with the example of Demetrius and Lysander as how they were both magically potioned and they were trying to get both of their love, Puck was trying to get both of them to love Helena instead of Hermia. And this was really key to the plot and how everything really gelled and they really created a lot of tension between the two of them and then it eventually created a lot of tension between Helena and Herm Hermia. Dreams was my last theme. And dreams in this play really was important to me as in the same way that the magic potion was important to me. So with dreams for me, it was really important that, especially with Bottom and how they turned him into an ass. And then when he fell asleep with Tatiana and woke up, he, really, he literally said in the play that oh, that was a dream. And it was able to take those really weird elements in the play and to really think about how they were using the potion and be to saying that it was basically a dream for them. With um, the metric the that thick reality, the role that it played for me is that it was more of a comic intermezzo, which I learned is a term in music history, is that it was a break in, in a play, so where it would some type of comedic relief. And this functioned as a, as you know a form of entertainment for the newlywed couples for me between Demetrius and, ha and Helena and Lysander and Hermia when it actually was performed. Now, the, the, the practices of, you know, and the rehearsals of this play within a play were really detrimental to me and didn't really pull my attention away from things, but was able to get through it. Now, with gender, how it was depicted in the play, there was a difference between the mortal and the fairy worlds because in the mortal, I believe the gender was actually depicted how it should have been, like, males should have been males and females should have been females. But as well as in, in the the fairyland that I thought that um, it really should have been, anybody could have played either role. Now the cross-gender affected the audience a little bit because they, they expected to see certain people playing certain roles, but they really ended up seeing all male roles. But as an audience member, I believe that the audience would have saw Hermia and Helena as women because they were dressed as women, but they were, it was the comedic relief of them seeing as males. And I have two questions to pose for the next listeners. With the use of metro theater reality, do you as an audience member think the rehearsal of the play inside of a play distracted you from the plot of the play? Or do you think that the play inside of a play really influenced your ability to understand the whole play? And my second question is, in the re regular scheme of things, would Demetrius really have fallen in love with Helena without the magic potion? And that's my video response for the Midsummer Night's Dream. Hope you guys have a great weekend.